guys so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so for today's video i think it is the most requested video and i'm going to be doing the 10,000 calorie challenge you guys have been begging me to do this video so i thought that i might as well just do it for you guys and i'm gonna do it today so to say trying to eat 10,000 calories is gonna be a struggle would be an understatement i'm gonna find it quite hard but i don't know i might surprise myself i've got a few high calorie meals lined up so hopefully fingers crossed it will be good so the time is currently 8 51 in the morning i thought i'd get up early start the challenge now because obviously we need to get as much food in as possible so we're gonna go to mcdonald's for breakfast i'm gonna try and not go to mcdonald's the whole day though because otherwise i'll just be 24 hours eating mcdonald's and that's not what we're here for and another little rule in this video is i can't actually drink my calories so i can't have liquid calories which is a little bit annoying because milkshakes are very full of them but you know We'll build a bridge and go over it. So anyway, let's go to Mackie D's. Hi, can I help? Hi, can I get a sausage and pancake meal, please? What drink? With a water. Yeah. And then can I just get two hash browns on their own, please? Is that your order complete? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to help find the right gear to pull off in there. Hi. Hi. With the pancake sausage. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Nice thank you, you too. Yes, we got our McDonald's. Let's go home. Wow, that's a little, is that a lot of traffic? Should I go the other way? <laughs> so we are now back home with our McDonald's and I, I know you're probably thinking, Talia, you had the sausage and pancakes in your last McDonald's video and you didn't like it. That would be correct, but I just thought, you know what, like I need to eat all these calories and the thing with the most calories on at McDonald's is their sausage and pancake. So I've got some lemon and some sugar because I like lemon and sugar on my pancakes. So I'm hoping that that's actually going to make it taste a bit better. I also obviously opted for aqua. There's no point in drinking anything that's actually going to like properly fill me up because it's just going to be pointless. Right. The grand reveal. Yum. Can't wait. And then also, there's only two hash browns here. I swear I asked for three, like all together, because obviously one comes with the meal. And then I ordered two extra. Where's the receipt? They scanned me out of a hash brown, which is quite upsetting. And it's quite annoying because this meal would have taken me over a thousand calories already, which is pretty good for just breakfast which is slightly sad because it's not going to happen now but let's move the sausage because we do not want lemon and sugar on that but i mean oh my god watch they aren't meant to be like that surely it's literally crunchy they're definitely stale. But I'm gonna have to eat them. Not impressed. <laughs> Can you hear that? That is my pancake that I can't even cut because it's so hard. Let's just snap that off. So I've just finished eating two hash browns complete and then I didn't quite finish my pancakes I've literally without tipping it all out left that much but to be fair I actually had a bowl of granola this morning because I didn't actually think I was going to be filming this video today but it just panned out that I could so I'm going to say that, that bowl of granola like picked up for the rest of the pancakes but I know that some people probably won't believe me because I didn't actually film it I did eat that so 
I'm gonna put all the calories on screen as we go along throughout the day. You guys can obviously keep track of me about how much I've eaten. But now I'm feeling very full up. I need to get changed out of like gym wear because it's kind of like restricting my breathing. Well, actually it's not really, is it? I don't really like to be honest. But I will talk to you guys when I will be eating next, which should hopefully be in like an hour or so. And I really don't wanna eat anymore because I feel a bit sick. Because that was really sweet as well. I'm not really much of a sweet person anymore, so. Yay. So I've kind of fallen at the first hurdle and the hurdle is the time. It's currently 12.56. This was not the aim because obviously I've watched these videos before and I've noted like people, you need to eat like nonstop, just like snacking. But I've just been busy working. I didn't have any like food. Well, I have food in the house, but you know, like no food that's worth wasting the space in my stomach for so i've just gone out to tesco and i have picked up some stuff that i'm going to make my way through including lunch so the first thing i got were three crispy creams i got two raspberry like the raspberry jam ones and then one glaze this time would be so much easier if i actually liked like proper icing and like filled donuts but I hate those so much so those are the two donuts I actually like from Krispy Kreme and they're quite a few calories and then I am also going to be eating I've learned that roasted nuts that are, oh no these aren't salted I've learned that nuts have a lot of calories in everyone always eats peanuts but I prefer cashews I then also got these galaxy counters they're 197 per third of a bag so they're about just under 600 calories for this whole bag which is pretty good and like not being food, they hardly fill them up like i can get through that easy about 10 minutes and then for my lunch i have bought pasta so i've got tomato and pancetta ravioli and this says it has 394 calories per half pack so that's just under 800 calories for the whole thing and then i got the carbonara sauce because obviously it has like cheese and stuff in it and for this there's just under 400 calories for the whole thing so i'm just going to make this and i probably won't be able to eat it all in one sitting but i'll be able to like snack on it because i've got a lot of work to do so my aim is to like cook it and just have it all in my room because i'm really bad for snacking so i know that like it will go well i then also have a few of these double chocolate mini rolls I literally have three left because I love them. And these, I believe, have 86 calories, is it? Yeah, 86 calories per bite. And these are just amazing. So I'm going to keep those in my room as well. Yeah, I'm going to cook myself some pasta and I will show you guys when it's done. To be honest, I don't think it's really going to go with like the carbonara sauce, but oh well. I was also actually going to get some garlic bread, but I thought that it will fill me up too much so i didn't this is my current setup how crazy so i've got all of my pasta here which is honestly so much i don't know how i'm gonna eat this all but it's literally got like a thousand calories in it which is something i really need right now because i'm really really far behind which i'm so not happy about i've got my laptop here so i can do some work but i'll probably end up watching youtube whilst i try and like eat all of this if i can in one sitting and i've also got my water here you guys you know how i always say i don't drink enough water I've drunk this much since like nine o'clock this morning, whatever time I started this challenge. So I really need to drink this, but obviously it's gonna fill me up as well. So I don't know what to do. Then I've also got my Krispy Kremes, my chocolate mini roll things. And then I also emptied out half the pack of the nuts. I also realized that they're actually salted. So that is amazing. So I've got half a pack there so I can get through those. And then obviously I have the counters, which I will also try and get through, but yeah. Let's start eating. I also realised it's probably going to be quite hard for me to like time lapse me eating all of this and it'll be a very long time lapse because it's probably going to take me like an hour or so. So I am going to time lapse obviously as much as I can but I can't time lapse it all because then you guys will be sat there for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I was so hungry I might be able to do it but I don't know I might have a little bit more have a little break and then come back to it <laughs> very full up now 
it was another like seven minutes since I lastly checked in with you guys and I really did not make much of a dent in it so I'm gonna leave it for a bit later but now fancy something sweet so I might eat these I'll eat these I'll eat these guys honestly this is so hard that pasta has really thrown me off i think i think it was a bad decision on my behalf and it's literally down there i reckon i've had more than half but honestly just smelling it i can't eat anymore i think it has something to do with the fact that it's like carbonara sauce as well not like tomato like mm. i'm just over the pasta now so i'm not gonna be able to eat the rest of that which is kind of annoying because that kind of only gave me like probably about 600 calories which was so frustrating but I've just eaten all my counters, so I'll put on the screen how many calories I've had. I actually want to calculate it so I can see because that would actually probably help me. It's going to be a hard one, so I might have to have a break for like an hour or so, and then I'll work my way through this stuff, and then we shall have to reevaluate because it's just not going well. So I've just done a calculation. You guys are already going to know like how many calories I've eaten because obviously they've already been on screen. Like I'm hardly even anywhere near the halfway mark or anywhere that I should be. So I'm really annoyed and like I've kind of come to a realisation that if I wanted to do this and I should have just stuck with things like that instead of having like a massive meal for lunch which I thought I would be able to eat. So it's a little bit annoying but I'm not going to let it dishearten me. If I can clear all of this by let's say it's currently 2 o'clock if I can clear all of this by 3.30, then hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to kind of get back on it because I'll be like near 4,000 calories, which will be like the halfway mark. And I still have obviously like dinner and yeah, I might have to go get some more like Krispy Kremes and stuff. I'm really going to try hard to get through this whole bag because that's where most of my calories are going to be coming from. <laughs> I just realised that I tried to time lapse myself eating my donut, but I wasn't even recording, so love that. But I am now on my second donut. I've had the glaze and now on the raspberry glaze. I've also finished all of my cashews and I've also had all three of the rolls. So I'll put on the screen how many calories I'm on now. Guys, I am struggling. Like, I thought I'd be able to make it up to 5,000 calories, like, pretty all right, but wow. Is this hard? Okay, so I've got the rest of the roast. Oh, it does say roasted salted. Wow, I was so blind earlier. How did I miss that it said salted? I'm going to eat the rest of the cashews now, which will give me about another thousand calories. To be honest, I think I actually ate more than half earlier, so it's all right because it's already down. I'm not gonna lie, I did have a moment of feeling like I was going to throw up, but I didn't, so it's all good. I've just finished my well i mean i've got a few crumbs left my cashews this is so hard i feel like in these videos no one ever talks about how hard it is well i mean they do say it's hard but wow i don't know if i'm just like it's not wrong with me I, I don't know i just can't eat all this food oh my god wow okay so time check it is currently 5 23 in the evening and I haven't eaten anything since I last checked in with you guys. So I'm going to finish off my last donut now. And I am then also going to go out for dinner. Probably in about just over an hour or so. Luke and I are going out to Pizza Hut. And I haven't been to like a Pizza Hut restaurant in God knows how long. We were planning on going out for a date night. And I told him I was filming this so that we had to go to Pizza Hut. So that is where we were going. I feel like I'm also doing like 24 hours in my room. 
but I'm not, I swear. I went out of my room to go talk to my mum because she just got back in from work. When I came back in here, my room stunk of carbonara still and it made me feel sick. I didn't want to eat this before dinner because I know that like, I'm just going to be struggling over dinner. It just had to be done. All the donuts are done. Completed the donuts. And now I'm literally just going to, I don't know what. You know it's serious when you've literally had to spend about half an hour deciding on what to wear to go out for dinner. Normally I'm just like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever. But I thought I need to plan this strategically because obviously I need to eat a lot of food and I'm going to need some leeway. So I've put on these trackies, you know, give me that extra room that I can undo because I always feel like if I have something tight on, I can't eat that much. We're also wearing a t-shirt because I think that I'm going to probably get hot because I'm eating so much. And then we've got the bloated situation, which, you know, I look just a few months pregnant, but it's fine. I'm going to the gym tomorrow morning to hopefully, you know, kick back into shape. But I'm just waiting for Luke to come. He should probably be here very soon. So yeah, also don't mind the mess in my room. We're currently in Pizza Hut. Hello, Luke. <laughs> and we've got cheesy bites and chicken bites to eat for our pizza fam so we're going to eat this and I'm not too sure of the calories yet but I'll work it all out and put it on screen now so pizza just come I got the chicken supreme on a pan base so this is going to be a struggle I've just figured out how much I've just eaten out of the pizza. It's only 525 calories, which I could have done in another way without feeling like this. But I think I might still get a cookie dough. We shall see, but for now I'm cooking out. So I've now got cookie dough. And then you just dropped it off the plate. But this is like 600 calories, and if I knew that we'd eat this all day. But anyway, I'm enjoying my last thing that I'm eating of the day because I cannot eat any more. So the time is currently 9.16 and I am done, like, I feel so sick, I can't even explain. Like, I physically cannot put any more food into my body, because I think I will be sick. The amount of times I've gagged today <laughs> from feeling too full up is a little bit not okay with me. So I've just done all my calculations and I obviously will double check so I'll definitely put like the overall figure on screen. For someone of like my size, bear in mind I'm like 5 foot 5, size 8, that is a lot of calories. I don't know how people do the 10,000 calorie challenge, like I honestly put my hands up and applaud everyone that can actually do it because I certainly cannot. Maybe if I do it again I'll find like a better way to do it but... I don't think I could put myself through it again. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then please make sure you smash a massive thumbs up and let me know that you did down in the comments. I hope it was worth it because I know that you guys really wanted to see it. A little bit upset that obviously I didn't get to hit 10,000 calories because I really like achieving all the challenges that I set myself, but I think that this one's just physically impossible for me to do. So as I said, let me know down below what you guys thought of the video and if you aren't already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've been doing loads of challenges recently and lots of fun things, so make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that also hit the bell i feel like i always forget to say that and i'll see you all very soon with a new video bye